Aloha Taurus, it's Kim Jillian with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your monthly reading for the month of November 2018. I'm kind of laughing because I just finished the Aries reading and like I drew some of the worst cards in the deck for Aries and I was like oh dang <laughs> like um, but it was really a great reading despite the cards like it was really a great reading so if you're a customer go watch the Aries reading because it um, yeah <laughs> I was able to really like help give perspective around some things and because I'm an Aries it just made me laugh so um, yeah and even if you're not an Aries if you know some Aries you might want to watch that one for this month so that's kind of a cool thing that you can do too is to watch uh, the videos for like your kids or your spouse other people in your life because it will kind of give you an idea about what they're you know up, what they're up against this month or what kind of month they're gonna have so it's helpful it's definitely helpful so if you're new to me uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified of when I post new videos I do these videos every month for all the zodiac signs I also do daily angel insight three weeks out of the month um, and those are just quick like five minute or less videos that I do with a daily message and an affirmation. Uh, really, the people that are religious about watching those are so sad now that I, I skip a week when I'm shooting these ones. I, I don't do them for a week and they're like, oh, <laughs> they're so sad. Um, so people really like that as a way to start off their day. And then I also do Feng Shui Fridays, which is a great information, really actionable things that you can do to help raise the energy, balance the energy in your physical spaces, your homes, your offices, that type of thing. So those are the type of things I offer. So if you like that, make sure that you subscribe. Um, and then I just want to quickly say before I get started, those of you that missed out on the treasure box or um, the, it did get full, I, I, I sold out. I had 17 boxes for this particular group in the treasure box club. I'll be doing it again in February. So if you want to get on the wait list, there's no obligation, there's no fee or payment to get on the wait list. It's just, um, you just hop on an email list and that way I've got a list of everybody that is really interested and then I will email you first before it goes out to social media, before it goes out to my own list um, or anyone else, I will send an email to that list. So if you're interested in the treasure box to increase in bunions, the stuff that's happening in that group is flipping amazing like I am just seeing people transform before my eyes and and just the the um, the shifts in the mindset I think are the thing that I'm noticing most as we go along so yeah it's and we're only like a weekend so uh, very cool so if you're interested in that there are links to that below all right let's go ahead and get started Taurus your theme for the month I'm happy to say is a lot better than the Aries one was um, your theme for the month is strength it's Archangel Ariel and this is really a reminder that you have this beautiful deep inner strength right you got this like at the core strength so one of the things that Ariel is reminding you about is to let go of any judgments that you have and I think oftentimes we're much harder on ourselves than we are on anyone else and so I think the the you know what they're showing me around this is for you to release those judgments of yourself you're doing a great job right like you're doing the best you can with what you have and the knowledge that you have the time that you have the emotional state that you have you're doing the best that you can so let go of those judgments and work to make your work to get your vibration as high as you possibly can because that will help you okay so forgiveness and compassion is the theme for the month this month and that relates to yourself as well as to other people so be compassionate with other people forgive easily right yeah love that okay let's see what else is coming up for you guys i feel so much more energetic um i I had, uh, it's so funny with the full moon, I don't know what you guys, but the full moon does impact my sleep. And so this morning, like I woke up and I was awake before four o'clock and couldn't get back to sleep. And so I missed out on like three hours of sleep because I wasn't going to get up until seven. And I ended up taking a nap this afternoon and after the nap, wow, like I feel like a different person. Like I'm just so much more energized and just feel, um, excited and just yeah it's really 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 good energy look at all this purple oh my gosh look at all this purple 
to me, purple is abundance, right? Because in feng shui, purple represents abundance. So lots of purple. Lots of shift cards here, too, though. So three shift cards, which is a lot in a reading. So lots of changes going on in your life. So it's really good that we're doing the butterfly deck um, for you around that. And I'm just happening to think, yeah, okay. I, I just, all of a sudden, I was like, had a brain fart. I'm like, did I do that in the last reading? I did. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so your first card that we've got here is Archangel Metatron, one of my favorite angels. This is the chariot, and it is about, it's about important achievements. So Metatron is great at helping us with time and also with discipline, self-discipline, organization, motivation, like all of those kind of things. So he's going to really come in and help you this month really focus because I feel like there's some big important things that you need to accomplish this month and you're going to need to focus in order to get them done, okay? Um, there may be some public recognition that comes along with that too. So the focus is not going to be like, it's not going to be a waste of time. It's going to be great, but you do need to, you know, you need to put your nose down and also make best use of your time. Okay. You have the five of air coming in. So this is funny because those of you that are cuspers, this card came in as our theme in the Aries group, which is about unwise choices, right? And it's like a decision, something that you are, mm, something that you did or didn't do, and then it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. And so you're like kind of, you can be in a place of kicking yourself and they're not want, the angels don't want you to do that, right? Angels never want you to kick yourself. So learn what you can from the situation. Look at people's motives. Are they really awake? Are they aware? Like, where are they coming from? And, you know, what is the lesson in this for you? And what did it bring up for you? Even more importantly, like, what did it bring up for you? Uh, some feelings, um, some emotions that you maybe felt when you were a child that are coming back up for you to heal, right? For you to love. So take a look at that aspect of things. And then we've got the balance card, which is Archangel Zadkiel. And the balance, of course, is just what it sounds like. It's about bringing balance to your life. So you need that balance. You need that moderation. Um, cooperation, compromise, that's all the name of the game for November. So the releasing judgments, compassion, forgiveness, compromise, um, you know, all of those things, cooperating, waiting for perfect timing, allowing things to line up for you. So these are all really, really good things that, that are helpful for you as you navigate the month. Let's see what we've got for the life changes cards for you. I love these cards. They're so easy to shuffle and they just feel so good in my hands. I might get some new card decks this weekend. I'm going to a Hay House conference on the island here on Maui the mystical, magical something, I can't remember the name of it, because they changed it. It was supposed to be an angel conference, and they changed it to, like, mystical something, um, so it's not all angels. Uh, but it's here on Maui, and I'm super excited to spend the weekend there, so I might pick up some new decks. We'll see. We shall see about that. Although I have, I have plenty of decks. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But sometimes I'm really drawn or called, to a new deck and so we'll see what happens with that all right Taurus we've got a new career coming up so this is a clear sign that you're meant to shift your career um, that something needs to change in that regard that either you're in the process of making that happen you're either unhappy with a career that you're in it's not fun it's not fulfilling you don't enjoy it um, or there's something else that you're supposed to open to. So for instance, if you have your own business, there might be a new aspect that you're meant to add. Um, several years ago, I added space clearing to what I do. And that has been amazing, amazing, amazing for uh, just in, in assisting people with the energy and the space and really getting it nice and clean and clear. So um, a new career. And I'm curious, I'd love for you guys to comment below, like what is... What came up for you when I shared that about new career? Are you in the midst of a change? What is a, um, What does this card mean to you? So I'd love to hear um, from you about that. And then we've got volunteer coming up. So this is going to be a great month to do some volunteer work. So that might be 
um, volunteering to bag groceries, that might be volunteering to, um, you know, buy presents, it might be volunteering, you know, at Feed My Starving Children if you have that in your area, or at the local food shelter or the animal shelter. Um, some sort of volunteer work is really going to be helpful for you this month. And again, that also helps with your perspective. So the volunteering does assist with that. And then we have realizations and epiphanies. So this is really not a surprise when I look at the three change cards that we have here that you would have a lot of aha moments this month. So that is going to be something that I would really just journal about that. Like whenever you get like an epiphany or an aha or like, oh my gosh, something suddenly makes sense, right? Like where it suddenly makes sense to you. Um, that is an, a realization, an epiphany, an aha. And that's going to be happening for you this month. Okay. I have a little secret to tell you guys. So there's supposed to be just one card for the animal totem, for your animal guide, but they threw two at me. So shh, don't tell the other signs that you got two cards here because no one else did, at least yet. Um, so we've got two animals that want to assist you this month. The first one is the wolf. And the wolf is the guardian. So this is really letting you know that you are safe, you're protected, you're secure. The wolf has your back. So you are completely safe and supported. So that's a really great energy to have. I love that. And then the swan, which is about grace. And this is really a great card too because it's about noticing the beauty all around you. So that beauty might be in the surroundings around you, but also noticing the beauty within yourself. So those things that are really beautiful and light and um, the things that you really love about yourself, like your sense of humor, or your, your energy, or whatever that might be, right? Um, yeah, just appreciating it. And, um, and the grace is a... Grace is not a um, like a giddy energy, right? When we think of grace, it's like a calm, stately, like, oh yeah, I really appreciate that. It's like it's like settling into presence kind of energy, right? Yeah. So that grace is not like a, a giddy energy. It's a very calm, calm, calm energy. Beautiful. I love it. So I've got another little video that's going to play right after this one where I'm going to share why I think bedrooms are the most important room of the home. And so they can get a little bit more information about that. And then I've got a juicy little special for you this month that you can take advantage of. Of course, we've got links to everything below. I'd love it if you share this video, um, comment, like it. All of that helps my channel, helps more people see me. Um, which helps more people because this is all free. It's an act of love, right, that I'm doing for you guys. Uh, so have an amazing, amazing month. Much love to you, Taurus. Aloha again. It's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji. I've talked in the past about how important bedrooms are. They are the room that is closest to your physical body. And, of course, you spend a third of your life in your bedroom. So this month I'm offering a very special feng shui consultation for the bedroom or for any single individual room in your home. The bedrooms really are the focus because they impact a lot about our lives. Of course, the bedroom can impact your sleep. They can also impact your relationships, your finances, your support that you feel in your life as well as your health. And there's many different things that can be going on in the bedroom energetically that you just don't even know are either blocking you or causing issues for you. As a feng shui expert, I'm able to take a look at the space and provide recommendations for furniture arrangement and for specific feng shui adjustments that will help balance the energy in the space. So the bedroom feng shui consultation I can do for you as the uh, owner of the home or the occupant of the home or also children's bedrooms are a great aspect to do feng shui consults for, especially if you have a child that is struggling because there are many different things that I can recommend that will help balance that energy for that child. 
Other rooms that you might consider for this particular consultation could be a gathering space, so like a family room or a living room where the family spends a lot of time. And the way that this works is I can help raise the energy or the vibration of that space so people feel better when they're in that location or hanging out there. And then if you are redecorating or remodeling, this would be a great um, time to look at that particular room, whether that would be a kitchen or an add-on room, whatever that might be. Other rooms that you might consider are rooms that you don't use because we can look at the energy of that space and what we can do to shift that and make it a purposeful room, a room that you enjoy being in. Often just balancing the elements in a space will make you want to hang out there more, right? So this particular consult is a bedroom or a single room feng shui consultation. And the offer that I'm doing for the month of November is a savings of $34 on this particular consultation. The coupon code that you'll use is LIGHT, L-I-G-H-T. Or if you'd like to purchase a gift certificate for someone else for this particular consultation, since the holidays are coming up, you can use the coupon code LIGHTS, L-I-G-H-T-S, with an S on the end. All of the links and the coupon codes are listed below, and I'm so looking forward to helping you balance the energy in your space. Much love and aloha.